Hi everyone, Brian Tomaszewski here. In this short video, I want to give you an introduction to Geographic Information Systems or GIS and game development. If you've ever thought about using GIS to build video games, this video is for you. In this short video, I want to show you how you can use GIS for building digital interactive video games. And I want to show you how you can do this using familiar GIS tools such as ArcGIS Pro with the new ArcGIS Maps SDK for game engines to build video games and amazing interactive visualizations. Finally, if you've never seen what a game development software environment looks like, I'll give you a quick tour of one of the industry standard game development environments called Unity. Before we start, to give some background, if you think about it, games and GIS are a natural match, as games often have a spatial component. One of the most popular examples in recent years has been Pokemon Go, which combines augmented reality to place figures on top of the real world. But of course, the use of geographic maps for games goes back much further than Pokemon Go. I, for one, very much enjoyed playing Risk when I was younger. Video games often include virtual 3D worlds. The ArcGIS Pro software environment is no stranger to virtual 3D worlds. ArcGIS Pro has long had the ability to incorporate and create three-dimensional data. With that 3D ability, you can create real-world geospatial data in ArcGIS Pro that you can use as the basis for a digital world inside of a video game. To make the connection between ArcGIS Pro and a game development environment like Unity that I'll talk about in just a moment, you can use a new software development kit or SDK developed by Esri called the ArcGIS Maps SDK for Game Engines. This allows you to bring 3D datasets created in ArcGIS Pro and published in ArcGIS Online directly into your game environment. See the video comments below for a link to find the ArcGIS Maps SDK for Game Engines. Let's now do a very quick tour of Unity. To be clear and upfront, I'm not an expert on Unity, but I've learned a little bit about this exciting software package to show you how you can bring your 3D GIS data into a game environment. Let's first take a look at a 3D game project that does not have an explicit connection to GIS. Unity actually has some similarities with ArcGIS Pro. For example, the main view is called a scene. The scene is where you combine all the elements of your game, also known as assets. Kind of like in ArcGIS Pro, where you have data layers, feature classes, tables, and so forth. The project folder is where you can manage all of your assets, just like the catalog view in ArcGIS Pro. The hierarchy window is where you manage all of the assets in your scene, just like the table of contents in ArcGIS Pro. When you click on an asset in the hierarchy window, it brings up the inspector window where you can set the properties for an asset, like in this case, the settings for a camera. To preview your game, hit the play button. In this example, the avatar can run around, jump, and attack. All of this is being controlled by keyboard and mouse movements. It's fun to play a game like this, but it takes a lot of work to put something like this together. Everything in the game has to be developed, from the animation of the characters, to the lighting, to the camera, and so much more. That's why game development is such a complex, multidisciplinary, and exciting topic. So now with a little background of what Unity is in mind, let me show you a basic workflow of how you would bring 3D data from ArcGIS Pro 
to ArcGIS Line and then bring that 3D data into Unity. Again, I'm not an expert in game development, and my point here is just to show you what is possible by combining these industry standard software packages for creating exciting games based on real world geographic data that you can create yourself. Here, you see ArcGIS Pro with three very simple three dimensional shapes I created in a scene. Once they were created in ArcGIS Pro, I exported them out of ArcGIS Pro and into ArcGIS Online as a scene layer. I did a quick test of the scene layer using the scene viewer of ArcGIS Pro. The next step is now to make this 3D scene layer public and get the layer's URL so I can plug this layer into the Unity game development environment that you saw previously, and I will now show you again using 3D GIS data. So here we now again see Unity. In this particular example, I have loaded the ArcGIS SDK for game engines into Unity. The ArcGIS SDK for game engines gives you the ability to incorporate 3D and other data sets as assets into the game scene like I showed you previously in this video. You can also incorporate some of the standard Esri base maps into your game scene. If you are a game developer watching this video, you can think of the ArcGIS SDK for game engines as giving you the ability to bring real world existing geographic data into your game. Let me briefly show you a game I created using the aforementioned 3D datasets as well as some modifications I made to make this game work. My game is very simple. I'm only going to have an avatar run around towards the 3D datasets I showed you earlier. Again, I'm new to game development myself. However, I had to modify the cameras in the scene in order to make the third person view of the avatar work correctly for what I wanted to do. In this regard, an important aspect of game development in general is the ability to use computer programming languages like C++ to develop your game. Here, I'm showing you how I have commented out some of the C++ code that is provided with the ArcGIS SDK examples. I did this specifically because I wanted the camera that was provided with my avatar not to conflict with the camera controls of the ArcGIS SDK. This was a hack on my part. If you're watching this video and you have better ideas on how to do this thing, please leave a comment below for others and myself. As you can see, now when I run the game, you are seeing the view from my avatar's perspective. Thanks for watching this video. I hope I've been able to show you some of the possibilities that exist with combining tools like ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Online, the new ArcGIS Maps SDK for game engines, and an industry standard game development environment called Unity. Many game development skills are tied directly to GIS skills. This can range from visualization, 3D modeling, data management, and computer programming. Thus, keep game development in mind as a new option for exciting things that you can do with GIS. I'm personally really excited about all of this because the possibilities are endless. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.